Hey y'all, it's Lene. I'm here at my neighborhood grocery store where I save a lot. So hopefully y'all catch the, catch the hint. But anyways, um, I was listening to a man talk on his phone call. And I don't know if he was chastising another man or if he was like um, talking to someone and telling someone what he said. But he was saying something very, very powerful. Oh, it's cold out here. I got a hoodie, y'all. I got a hoodie, y'all. I take it off. I can't drive in coats and hoodies and stuff. But anyway, <clears throat> he said he, he was telling some man, you've got to be a low down. I'm watching this person back out so they don't hit my car. You've got to be a low down man for your wife to walk around looking a mess. He was like, if you're with a man, he didn't say wife, he said woman, but he said, if a woman is with a man, it is that man's responsibility to make sure she represents him in the best light at all times. So if that means getting her hair done and keeping her looking good, then that's what a man is supposed to do. Even on her bad days, she should look good. Here's the thing. Today is one of my bad days. Like literally, today is one of my bad days. Y'all should see what I got on. All I did was hop in the shower and put my products in my hair. And I'm wearing, I threw on some earrings. That very same man, when I walked by him, he said, how you doing today, beautiful? I will say this. <clears throat> I will dare to say this. It's not how a woman looks that makes her look a mess. It's her thoughts and what she's thinking and what's on her mind that makes her look a mess. Some women, yes, some women do leave with their hair all over their head and stuff. But a lot of times what people see as looking a mess is actually her inward being expressed outward. It's that Psalm 23, uh, what is it? Psalm or Proverbs 23 and 7. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. As a man thinketh, thinks as the thoughts that occupy a woman's mind, so is she. So if she's there, he's right. Because I used to look a mess, a mess when I was formerly married because I was not happy. I was being abused. I was being manipulated. I was being controlled. And so I didn't look a mess. I can show you pictures of me where my skin was much darker. My skin was much darker because I was dying because of my thoughts and because of what controlled and occupied my brain, my thoughts, my mind. So I will dare to say this, it's a low down man who would put a woman's mindset in that position that would have her outward appearance show her inward thoughts. And she doesn't look good. When a man makes a woman feel good about herself, when he loves a woman, when he treats a woman right, and the same for the women who do the men, who love the men. You see a different type love and glow on that person. You see them look a certain way. You see a certain level of pride in them. Even if they don't have a professional haircut or hairstyle, there is a level of pride in them. There's a level of esteem in those people. Now, granted, I've had people say, everybody don't want to be in a relationship. And that's true. So this message isn't for you, but it is to tell you to watch what occupies your mind. I spoke with an ex-fiance yesterday. And he said something powerful. He's a, I'm not going to say it here, but he's a very powerful man. And he told me, thank you, Ezekiel. He told me, he said, release all fear. And when you, re his grandmother taught him to release all fear. And when you release all fear, your brain is empty because most people's brain don't have nothing to think about. If, it, if it's not thinking about fear-based stuff. 
And when a person's brain is full of fear based, the opposite of love is fear or hate. The opposite of faith is fear. The opposite of love is hate. So if you're not dealing and having people around you who deal in pure love, and if you don't have people around you who deal in pure faith, which is just simply living their life according to the instructions from their God that they hear, the thoughts that fill their mind, then you need to attempt to give them the tools to change their life. And if they don't accept the tools, you have to distance yourself. It's not just the men not getting the woman's hair done that makes him low down. It's the way he makes her feel and the thoughts that he puts in her mind with his actions towards her. A real man is love. A real woman is love. Y'all take care.